talk about the wig. I'm Jalen. And this is Underdog Approved. In Underdog Approved, we judge movies, TV shows, and other stories on how they represent minorities, women, LGBT characters, and all underdogs. Then we give the story a score and our underdog rating. Today we're going to be discussing Black Panther. Yeah. Black Panther is Marvel Studios' most recent film. It takes place right after the events of Captain America's Civil War with T'Challa, who is the Black Panther, transitioning from the Prince of Wakanda to King. We loved all the women as individuals. They were great. There was like three main women characters. The sister. Okoye, who's the head of the guard, and Nakia, the love interest, who was like a spy. We loved how the guards were all women, but they didn't make a big deal about it. It was just like yeah. the way it was. It's like, yeah. these are the women. They kick ass and everyone's cool with it. One of the <laughs> best scenes, they're in the casino looking for Claw. All three, T'Challa, Okoye, and Nakia, are dressed up. Okoye has a wig on, which she absolutely hates. So, so during one of the fight scenes, she whips her wig off as she She basically fighting. uses the wig as a weapon. Yeah, they were questioning Claw. They thought he was securely locked away. Turns out he was not because Killmonger was on his way to save Claw. The one American white guy jumps to protect the already badass Nakia. If she is so talented and badass and sticks up for herself, then why does she need to be rescued by this little dweeby dude? It's like in his head that he needs to protect her. He's just like, I'll save you, poor woman. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> the king-based culture was really strange. The king died. And there was a queen, but they needed T'Challa to become the new king. So I thought that was a little strange. Like, why couldn't the queen just rule? Like, why didn't it need to be a man? As far as race goes, all of the accents were, like, extremely authentic. The main language that's spoken in Wakanda is the same that's spoken in South Africa. The actors, even though they didn't know the languages, they learned all of the languages that they spoke. <laughs> Does she speak English? When she wants to. Authenticity, always great. The, like, main conflict of the movie was a huge race thing as well, because Wakanda was an extremely wealthy African nation mm -hmm. who wouldn't help the rest of the continent, the rest of everybody, everywhere who was black. And then Michael B. Jordan comes in, and he's like... Dude, we let's gotta help these people. Michael B. Jordan's character was so complex. So complex. But I honestly wouldn't even call him a villain. He was just misunderstood. There were no gay people in Black Panther. Yeah, but there there was like only two people involved in a romance and it was hardly relevant. There were no LGBT characters, but there was nothing negative either. No other underdog characters, no one with disabilities or anything. Watching Black Panther was weird because I'm so used to these like, asshole straight white male protagonists. I was sitting there watching Black Panther and I was so into it. And I had this feeling watching over me and I was like, is this what it feels like to root for the protagonist? <laughs> <laughs> we give this movie an 84, which is an underdog. Hell oh, yeah. yeah! Remember to like and comment and subscribe and click the bell and everything else that you can do. Also, if we got things wrong, which I probably didn't because I watch way too many <laughs> videos and stuff. read People always get things wrong. If you have things, other concerns, um, I don't get anything wrong coming. ever. I am right 100% of the time. Please comment below and let us know. Just a piece of art and let us underdog approve. Yeah, okay, we're done with this. We're done with this.